Given one trigonometric ratio, find the exact values of the other five trigonometric ratios. State the reference angle and the standard position angle to the nearest hundredth of a degree. In part A, we have secant theta equals five over four, and sine theta is less than zero. The first thing we need to do is determine which quadrant the angle exists in. Secant theta equals five over four, which means that secant theta is positive. Since secant theta is the reciprocal of cosine theta, secant theta is positive in the same quadrants that cos theta is positive. Cos theta is positive in the quadrants where the x values are positive. This occurs in quadrants one and four. Sine theta is negative in the quadrants where the y values are negative. This occurs in quadrants three and four. There is overlap in quadrant four. This is where the angle exists. Recall that secant theta equals hypotenuse over adjacent. If secant theta equals five over four, the hypotenuse is five and the adjacent is four. Use this information to draw a triangle in quadrant four. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the opposite side. The Pythagorean theorem is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. The adjacent side is four, put this in for x. The hypotenuse is five, put this in for r. This gives us 16 plus y squared equals 25. Subtract 16 from both sides of the equation to get y squared equals nine. Square root both sides to get y equals plus or minus three. Since the y value is negative in quadrant four, use negative three for the opposite side of the triangle. Now that we have all three sides of the triangle, we can state the six trigonometric ratios. Sine theta equals negative three over five. Cos theta equals four over five. Tan theta equals negative three over four. Cosecant theta equals five over negative three. This is the reciprocal of sine theta. Secant theta equals five over four. This is the reciprocal of cos theta. Cotan theta equals four over negative three. This is the reciprocal of tan theta. Now we need to find the reference angle. Use a positive trigonometric ratio to get the reference angle. In this example, we'll use cos theta equals four over five. Get theta by itself by taking the inverse cosine of each side. The reference angle is 36.87 degrees. Position the reference angle within the triangle. The standard position angle is found by subtracting the reference angle from 360 degrees. This gives us 323.13 degrees. In part B, we have tan theta equals negative two over three and secant theta is greater than zero.
The first thing we need to do is determine which quadrant the angle exists in. Tan theta equals negative 2 over 3, which means that tan theta is negative. Tan theta is negative in quadrants where the x and y values have opposite signs. This happens in quadrants 2 and 4. Secant theta is positive in the same quadrants where cosine theta is positive. Cosine theta is positive in quadrants where the x values are positive. This occurs in quadrants 1 and 4. There is overlap in quadrant 4. This is where the angle exists. Recall that tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. If tan theta equals negative 2 over 3, and the angle exists in quadrant 4, the opposite side is negative 2, and the adjacent side is 3. Use this information to draw a triangle in quadrant 4. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the opposite side. The Pythagorean theorem is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. The adjacent side is 3. Put this in for x. The opposite side is negative 2. Put this in for y. This gives us 9 plus 4 equals r squared. Add to get 13 equals r squared. Square root both sides to get r equals plus or minus root 13. The hypotenuse is always positive, so choose r equals root 13. Now that we have all three sides of the triangle, we can state the six trigonometric ratios. Sine theta equals negative 2 over root 13. Cosine theta equals 3 over root 13. Tan theta equals negative 2 over 3. Cosecant theta equals root 13 over negative 2. This is a reciprocal of sine theta. Secant theta equals root 13 over 3. This is a reciprocal of cosine theta. Cotan theta equals 3 over negative 2. This is a reciprocal of tan theta. We should rationalize the denominator for sine theta and cosine theta. For sine theta, multiply the numerator and denominator by root 13. This gives us negative 2 root 13 over 13. For cosine theta, multiply the numerator and denominator by root 13. This gives us 3 root 13 over 13. Now we need to find the reference angle. Use a positive trigonometric ratio to get the reference angle. In this example, we'll use cos theta equals 3 root 13 over 13. Get theta by itself by taking the inverse cosine of each side. This gives us a reference angle, 33.69 degrees. Position the reference angle within the triangle. The standard position angle is found by subtracting the reference angle from 360 degrees to get 326.31 degrees.